What's going on, guys? It's your boy, John Aliquidator, coming back with another video. So, guys, we all know that Coach Prime always speaks out about the NIL and the collectives, guys. Now, we also know that Coach Prime is at the Super Bowl doing a million interviews. Well, he just shed light on why he think the NIL and the collectives is a big problem. Guys, for this one here, we got to go all the way down to Arizona. Let's get it. Let's go. <laughs> So, guys, we all know that Coach Prime always speaks out about the NIL and the collectives, guys. And his motto is, when you come and join him, you got to think about the NFL over the NIL. Everybody knows this, guys. See, Coach Prime is old school, man. And with a lot of old school stuff, people was kind of stuck in their ways. Now, that's the type of situation I'm getting out of this whole Coach Prime versus the NIL situation. And at a recent awards show, he made it very clear to the world that Colorado does not have any NIL money, but we're open to recruiting players. Now, with all of that being said... We all know that Coach Prime is at the Super Bowl, and he's doing a ton of interviews, shedding light, and getting all things Colorado out to the world, guys. Now, once again, he did speak on the NIL and the collectives, and guys, it's been reported that. Coach Prime was recently asked about the change in the landscape of college football, whether that be the transfer portal, realignment, or NIL. The greatest cornerback of all time had a fantastic answer about the NIL as well as the collectives. Deion Sanders stated that you talk NILs, it's a beautiful package. But how many guys have NILs? NIL means I'm going to pay you for your name, image, and likeness. How does your name, image, and likeness have worth when you're coming out of high school? Who is going to buy a product because of your name? is attached to it. They don't know you. That's not name, image, and likeness. Name, image, and likeness should be reserved for players who have established themselves already. Coach Prime goes on to speak about the collectives. He stated that now the collectives are totally different. That's just the boosters and the money guys putting in a pot together until one delegates where the money goes. That's what happened to the NCAA which I don't think was ever supposed to happen. They didn't safeguard against that. So now we are here. So as you guys can see here, man, Coach Prime is saying the NCAA basically didn't do their due diligence with trying to put together this whole NIL deal and trying to work with the collectives to get it all working hand in hand. And quite frankly, I feel like Coach Prime is entitled to his opinion. Now, going back to the statement when he stated that the high school players – you know, basically shouldn't be eligible to get an NIL deal until they prove themselves basically on a football field. I feel like, you know, once again, he's, he's entitled to that opinion. But at some point, these guys should definitely get some type of signing bonus, you know, whenever they choose to go to your school. Now, for them getting like the big, big bag, I don't think they should be able to get that big, big bag until like they definitely prove themselves on a football field. But guys, Guys, definitely let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments section. I thought this was a great article to bring to the channel. And until next time, man, shake the haters off, baby. I'm out of here. Peace hey, out. You cut me. You should have seen by now. Cut me. Yeah, they talking about it. We coming. They doubting us. But we coming. They think saying. Think it's a game. We coming. I don't give a damn what they say. You best believe.